Let's chat about Mexico, guys. Mm -hmm. A little more Gold Cup action because they yeah. played Honduras last night. A 4-0 win for them. What a response under Jimmy Lozano. Yeah, Nico. definitely. Um, for Mexico, I mean, if you look at the team, it's essentially a lot of the same names, the majority of the same names that Tata Martino had. In fact, Santiago Jimenez mm. didn't start this game either. Again. And, and Martin again. And yeah. look, oh, Honduras, we need, to, we need to be real with the situation that Honduras is on. They're on a full-blown crisis, the biggest crisis that I remember in the last 10, 15 years of, of that federation. So they are, they are really suffering. And Mexico smelled blood in the water from the very yep. get-go. They created an opportunity 30 m seconds in. And then within the minute, they had already scored. And that set the tone. They got a third goal right out of the gates into the second half. Honduras were weak, but for Mexico and for Jaime Lozano, the interim manager, it was a really important response to, to come out of that Nations League, that, that suffering really mm -hmm. from on all counts, right? On the field, off the field, it was, it kind of opened the door to the Federation really having to take a big stance and kind of just suppress a mini crisis, right? I think this is how you get over that hump. Jaime Rosano, who knows these guys, was with these Did guys. Jaime or in, Jimmy? It, it, whichever one you want. <laughs> I want to get it right. Yeah. I want to do right. I'll go Jaime. Jaime. Yeah, Jaime. You, Jaime. Jaime is more fun to I'm say. I'm going yeah. with Jimmy. Hey, you know, hey, because hey, right hey, now he is hey, 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 very much yeah. could be <laughs> that. Is this enough of a response? So, you know, how much has this kind of quelled the, the yeah. panic that was it's starting one, to set it's, in? It's one game. You got to at least get to the final of the Gold Cup mm -hmm. with this team. What would getting a, to the final do for especially the Mexican supporters and just kind of the unrest it that would, they it have will, It will showing. douse some of that really intense flame, that passion from Mexico fans, that anger. But I think it would kind of get everything back on track mm -hmm. from the federation. I Your disagree. Team they is... have to win that game. Yeah. They go to another final. Yeah, but they play, go to another play. final and they lose. Well, the, especially right back the to the States. cycle. I, yes, that's a good point. As I say, if it's to the United States, you, the the flames on the it's house true. is burning even more. Yeah. New coach coming in. I think it's win or go back home. Right. But I, I just after after having seen how they played at the Nations League and seen how they were playing coming into this tournament, you could even say that the expectation isn't even to get to the final. Um, no. Yeah. And, it's to win. And if no, not. Uh, uh, the expectation you put on yourself as a federation, yes, is sure. to win the Gold Cup. But the reality of how they're playing, if they crash out at a semifinal, I wouldn't be surprised mm. because they've been playing so poorly. But to start a Gold Cup winning 4-0. You almost yeah. guarantee yourself of getting out of the group stage with that, with yeah, that goal with differential. The goal differential. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I, they, to get out of the group stage, you're going to get out of the group stage. Though, it's Mexico. that I want to ask Michael, too. The U.S., as we've seen, the, the roster is not their strongest. No. So <laughs> if Mexico, let's say it is another USA-Mexico final, Mexico beats this roster, is that still enough? Does that matter? Does it even matter? That I it's, think it's, that's the only way to quell it, yeah. right? I, I think a trophy is a trophy. You can only beat who's in front of you. You can mm -hmm. only beat who's at the tournament. I don't think I've seen any team in any competition look at the roster at the end of the day. Whoa, 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 hold on, guys. But they didn't have their six best player. Ah, crap. We right. can't. No, no trophies are trophies. And when you're in Mexico's position, you are looking for any semblance of confidence. There's a big thing coming up over the next couple of years, the FIFA World Cup. Hmm. They want to be the headliners. Right now, they're at the bottom of the barrel of those three teams hosting. It's wild. I didn't even think of that. Canada, obviously yeah. from the three hosts, Canada is way well, less in the mud. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, Are they? Yeah. Uh, mm, how do they do at the World Cup? We'll Still. Save this. Oof. Still. <laughs> They don't have anywhere near the pressure on them that Mexico does. How they, how you think they're as much in the mud as Mexico? Mm. Nico's. I don't know. I'm We're really riding this Canada right train Come very on. high. Yikes. Yeah, it is impressive. It's better than we've ever seen them before. It's a golden generation, but are they living up to the hype? Still. Gonna, there is hype. So that's a there is hype. Good conversation <laughs> for another for day. This.